والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا وبعد. The Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم once during his lifetime when there was an eclipse he stood in prayer and the people stood with him and it was an extremely long prayer. In fact, Aisha radiallahu anha uh, she mentions that she stood with she stood in the prayer with the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it, and, it was, and it was so long that she said that she was about to faint, and she had to reach down for a water bag and actually sprinkle some water on her face. That's how long the prayer was. And once the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam completed the prayer, he turned to the people and he praised Allah subhanahu wa taala, and then he said that as to what follows, any future event that I have not previously seen. I have seen in this very place where I am standing. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during that period of time when he was praying, he showed him what would happen in the future. And he said, I even saw paradise, I saw Jannah, and I saw Jahannam. And it, it was also revealed to me that you will be put through a test in your grave similar to the trials of the, of the, the Jal. Meaning that I have been informed that very soon you will be put to a test in your graves. And we all know what this is referring to, and that is the questioning of the grave. And in this questioning, the Messenger then, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he mentioned that the believer, the person, will be asked with regards to this man. He will be said, "What is your knowledge with regards to this man?" And the Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, will be shown. And the Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said that if the person is a believer, or if the person has certainty. Then he will say that he is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he is the messenger of Allah. He brought clear signs and true guidance to us, so we responded and obeyed him. And the angels will basically say, "Rest assured, we already knew that you believe in him." As for the hypocrite, he will say that I don't know, and. He will say, "سمعت الناس يقولون شيئا فقلت." That I heard people saying something, so I said it. The person in the grave, the one who is on the wrong side, this will be his answer. I heard people saying something, and I said it. And this is the shahid for our point today. That knowledge is for certainty. When we are speaking about the deen. When we are speaking about the Quran and the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we need to have certainty. Not I'm doing something because I heard somebody say something. I wasn't sure about it myself, but I just did it because people were people were doing it. That will have no value in the hereafter in the grave. What will have value is the certainty and the iman in your heart. We need to reach the level of ilm al yaqeen. That we have certainty based on the knowledge that we have been provided, and we can only attain that knowledge if we study it. If we do not study it, we can never attain that level of certainty. So, when we are in our journey of seeking sacred knowledge, this is one aspect we need to focus on. Why do we believe what we believe? Why do we do what we do? These are fundamental questions. That every single Muslim should know the answer to. Why does he believe in the Quran? Why does he believe in the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Why does he pray? Why does he give zakat? Why does he fast in the month of Ramadan? Why does he go for Hajj? Basic questions, but we need to have certainty in them that they are from Allah subhanahu wa taala. They are what the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught. And when we have that certainty, then by the by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa taala and His will. We will give the right answer in the in the grave, and we ask that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala make that easy for us. ربنا تنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم.